So today I headed over to my favorite vegan bakery. Really, it's the only vegan bakery in my area, but that's okay with me because it's literally like 10 minutes from my house and it does sell delicious food. And I went over there and they had all this cute stuff for Valentine's Day. So I picked out this strawberry uh, flavor cupcake. Now it was a little frozen, unfortunately. Well, it was a lot frozen. So it took me a little while to break it apart. If it would have warmed up uh, at least like five, 10 minutes before I bit into it or tried to bite into it in this case, then that would have been so much better. So I was uh, over here waiting for my son because he was getting his hair cut at a place called Jazz Cuts, which is right next door, pretty much. It's like a couple like feet away. It was not very far. So I dropped him off over there. I came over here and I went ahead and wanted to try this cupcake. I tried to get some of their other goodies, like some of their stuff ordered for Valentine's Day because they had a chart on Valentine's Day um like special desserts and stuff that you can order and pick up. But of course I missed it by a day. Of course, of course I did. <laughs> and I was just there literally like just a few days ago and they didn't have uh, the sign out. And of course they didn't put the sign away. So that's how I knew about it. And they were like, Hey, you know, you missed it by yesterday. <laughs> I was like, great. But the, the um, strawberry cupcake was really good. As you can see here, it was really hard to like bite into because it was like literally frozen, but it was still delicious. I wish it had a little bit more of the actual strawberry flavoring in the cupcake. And if they actually added the strawberry flavoring to the icing, that would have like really ranked it up to like a whole new level. I used to make these strawberry uh, cupcakes uh, a long time ago. This was probably like, geez, probably like eight years ago at least. And um, I used to put uh, like the strawberry puree in the frosting too. Oh, so delicious. So delicious. Gonna have to definitely um, try that again. Now all of their desserts here are also gluten-free, dairy-free, and everything free, not free. And so sometimes it's a little dry. And the only reason why this one was actually a little bit harder, because like I said, it was frozen. They do freeze some of their baked goods and not make it that day. And so sometimes you get one like this. But it was delicious. I was happy. And I got a dandelion tea, which I absolutely love. Uh, and that came with um, coconut milk. So here's my son. And that's it.